Good morning to you all. I'm delighted to declare this congregation open. Please take your seats and make yourselves comfortable on this warm day.
It's my great pleasure to be able to preside over this ceremony this morning as Pro-Chancellor of the University. And I'm really delighted to have this chance to participate in such a wonderful celebration of students' achievements. So to all our graduates, first of all, give yourselves a warm round of applause. And it's nice to be able to sort of celebrate this day as well in the presence of so many family and friends. Thank you for your support today. I'm sure it means a lot. I'm going to work, go straight away to invite the Vice-Chancellor, as I call on to give the opening address, I'm going to invite you to welcome him, please, to the rostrum. Thank you. Pro-Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, graduates, I am delighted to welcome you all to Birmingham City University's graduation ceremony and welcome to this amazing symphony hall here in the heart of Birmingham. At BCU, we have always been proud to be the university for this city, the university for Birmingham. And graduation is always a pleasure because it's a special day. It's a day of celebration for our graduates, but it's also a day of celebration for the university community and for all the friends and family and supporters who are here. So thank you all very much for taking the time and coming and joining us today. Now you guys, graduates, this is your day, but I want to start by acknowledging all of those who've supported you on the journey that has led to you graduating today. And around us are just some of the staff who have supported you in your learning and who, I know, are just as proud of what you have achieved as you are. And of course, all around us are your family, your friends, your supporters, your peers, people who have been there for you when times were tough. So graduates, can I invite you to give them all a huge thank you. Today is very much a day in which we celebrate each of your individual successes, but I want to reference the success too of the faculty as a whole. And there have been so many great things this year, it's been really hard to be selective, but just a few. So I want to acknowledge the all-woman student team comprising three CB students and three from one of our exchange partners in the US, Auburn University, who won an international design build competition in the USA within the construction sector, which as you all will know is a sector which is poor for female representation. I want to reference the work done by many colleagues in the faculty, but particularly Associate Professor Stephen Murphy and Senior Lecturer in Computer Games Programming, Carlo Harvey, who've launched the Curzon Software House, Curzo, last week within the Faculty of Computing, Engineering and Built Environment. Curzo is there to provide CB students with useful micro-placements, and I know that already they are working with industry leaders, and it's great to see companies such such as Jaguar Land Rover, who have engaged with us. There's been a successful Newton Fund Institutional Links grant, and this just gives a sense, I think, of the range and diversity of what happens across your disciplines and from my colleagues behind me. That's a project that's going to explore the potential for rural biomass conversion to bioenergy, and it's taking place out in Indonesia, working with Brawijaya University in Java. It's always invidious to pick on any one student, but I did want to pick up on Lawrence Card from the second year of our Broadcast Engineering Trainee Scheme with the BBC, who's been awarded the prestigious Royal Television Society Young Technologist of the Year Award, and he joins a growing list of former broadcast engineer and apprentices who have received that award. And as I say, that's a list that just gives you a sense of the sheer excitement within CB. And from my perspective, something of which I have first-hand experience was coming along this year to Innovation Fest, which every year just goes from strength to strength. 
It is groundbreaking to see students from across the different disciplines within the faculty working together in teams on industry-facing problems. I was genuinely blown away by what I saw there. Many things have the word innovation in them. This one had clearly earned it. So can I congratulate all of you, staff and students, for what you have achieved this year? It's been a year when, in Birmingham, it feels as if there's been change all around us. And at local level, we see, of course, that change day to day. You see it with the myriad new buildings. You see it with the big new projects, whether it's HS2, whether it is the Commonwealth Games, whether it is the new Centenary Square just outside this building, which seems to have turned into Birmingham's beach during this brief summer interlude. We also see it, of course, in the less wonderful parts of the city, like the new road closures. But it is a time when it's not just about parochial local change. It's a time of significant political change for the country, not least with the radical changes that are going to impact on our relationship with Europe and the broader world. And there are the changes, too, to the environment that are the result of human behaviours, and particularly the patterns of consumption that are driven by wealthy countries like our own. But on the positive side, there are the massive changes that are driven by health sciences and by technology impacting on every aspect of our lives, but in particular finding their expression in significant increases in life expectancy. And that reminds us that not all change has to be for the worse. But change inevitably challenges us. It's necessary, but it's worrying. And we can see that change all round us. And there is a pervasive sense of uncertainty. And that's why this ceremony today is so important. Why it is right that we gather formally to recognise what you have achieved. I mean, if we just briefly reference what we are wearing, it was a hot day already, and now you have this on top of it. And you don't normally look like that, and I, thank heavens, don't normally look like this. But we wear this in recognition of a tradition that reaches back six or seven centuries. It is a tradition of respect for learning and for higher education in particular. Because we recognise, society recognises, that graduates are important. In every society, graduates, you, are important. Graduates live longer. They are more productive. They contribute more to society around them. They're more likely to volunteer, to vote, to lead. Graduates have better health, but above all, graduates are better placed to deal with change. And many of you, I hope, are going to live long, long lives. And during your lives, the world in which you live is going to change not once, it is going to change many, many times. And you're not going to have one career. Most of you will have many careers. And you will often need to master new skills and new knowledge and to have that curiosity that enables you to learn afresh. And that's where being a graduate is so important. You have the skills that equip you to learn. You have the habits of learning. So today, we're not just celebrating what you have achieved. We are celebrating because we know something of the potential that you have. We are celebrating what you are going to go on to achieve. Now, as you may know, last year at BCU, we celebrated our 175th birthday. We were founded back in 1843 as the Birmingham Government School of Design, and we were created to help the manufacturers of what even then was becoming one of the great workshops of the world to compete on a global stage. And while this institution has changed often and often during that 175 years. We've stayed true to that founding purpose. We remain focused 
on learning that makes a difference in the world, in ensuring that you, our graduates, all around the world, make a difference in your societies. And my challenge to you, as we gather here today to celebrate your significant personal achievement, your personal transformation, is to see that as part of a broader commitment, to make your own commitment to transforming the world around you. You've all seen, I hope, the IMBCU images around campus and indeed around the city. That came from something that you, our students, told us, namely that being part of BCU meant something. It meant pride, it meant confidence, and it meant belonging. So I am BCU is not a slogan. It's about being part of our extraordinary community. You will always be part of that community and part of our outstanding alumni body. But today, today is your day. It's a day when you celebrate achieving what you set out to do. And that is a great thing. And I salute you, graduates. I now call upon the Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean of the Faculty of Computing Engineering and the Built Environment, Professor Hanifa Shah, to commence the presentation of award holders and on the Pro Chancellor to receive the students. Pro Chancellor. As Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean, I present students from the Faculty of Computing, Engineering and the Built Environment who have qualified for the award of degrees, diplomas and certificates. I commence by presenting the candidates for the award of research degree. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Agent-Based Models for Res Residential Energy Consumption and Intervention Simulation, I present Dr. Fatima Abdullah. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Natural Freehand Grasping of Virtual Objects for Augmented Reality, I present Dr. Muad Al Kalbani. <laughs> for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Computational Analysis of Style in Irish Traditional Flute Playing, I present Dr. Isla Ali McLachlan. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Anaerobic Digestion of Saccharina Latissima, I present Dr. Roshni Paul. <laughs> for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Thermomechanical Analysis and Development of a no Novel Monochromator First Crystal Using an Interference Fit, I present Dr. Joshua Stimson. I invite David Gibson to the lectern to present award holders from the School of Computing and Digital Technology. Master of Science in Advanced Computer Science, Ismail Abdul Aziz. Priya Kanodia. Lamina Khan. Shweta Mustare. Master of Science in Broadcast Engineering, Gurdip Singh Bullar. Lawrence Card. Luke Heron. Dominic Hyam. Agathon Nasingan. 
Louisa Watson. <laughs> Master of Science in Cybersecurity, Akweep Mahmood Khan. <laughs> Abdika Zir Mohamud. <laughs> Master of Science in Enterprise Systems Management, Patience Spru. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Broadcast and Communications Engineering, Benjamin Beckinsale. <laughs> Jack Beggs. <laughs> Charles Brown. <laughs> Thomas Cave. <laughs> Thomas Halliday. <laughs> Joshua Hughes. Anna Kovac, <laughs> Ruth McLaren, <laughs> Jalea Mahmood, <laughs> Jordan Matthews, <laughs> Charlie McFarlane, <laughs> Christelle Richards, <laughs> Dylan Robinson. Jacob Weekly, Patrick Wood, <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Business Information Technology, Karo Adeda, <laughs> Lakesh Ahir, <laughs> Salman Al Muhammadi, <laughs> Al Fayed Ali. Arvin Ashtari, <laughs> Hannah Etherton, <laughs> Hannah Bagoon, <laughs> Shujahid Ali Bhatti, <laughs> Jordan Burton Smith, <laughs> Jack Fielder, <laughs> Mohammed Gul Usama. Mohammed Hassan, <laughs> Haida Hussein, <laughs> Zain Javed, <laughs> Inyat Khan, <laughs> Tej Katri, <laughs> Yaneka Koleta. Tanisha Lesporis, <laughs> Stephen Mack, <laughs> Mitali Mahesh, <laughs> Safe Meton, <laughs> Yusuf Malik, <laughs> Sunny Ranji, <laughs> Mohammed Patel. Rickin Patel, <laughs> Patricia Pellin, <laughs> Ramel Perkis Brown, <laughs> Junaid Rashid, <laughs> Mohammed Sain, <laughs> Mohammed Miran Shajad, <laughs> Kyle Scott. Praveenan Sivabalan, Aaron Upal, Axel Wilkes Lewis, Thomas Winkle, Mohammed Zahid Aziz, Haida Zaman, Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Games Technology, Suhan Ahmed. <laughs> Michael Cullen. <laughs> Vlad Dimitriou. <laughs> Lewis Farrell. <laughs> Jordan Hamilton. <laughs> Sean Higgins. 
Connor Lynch. Benjamin Mace. Matthew MacDonald. Java Newnans. David Pacheco. Georgi Pavlov. Martin Perlachik. Jack Rose. Cameron Scattergood. Benjamin Sturlach. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Networks, Mohammed Abid. Atesham Amjad. Daniel Akaanaman. Matthew Blaby. Shingarai Shimuntu. Ryan Danks. Adam Holden. Lukash Puchuko. Mohammed Hussein. Rakesh Jassal. Tawab Khan. Andrew Lees. Young Wei Liu. Harris Muir. Ayub Muhammad. Rahim Muhammad. Kevin Mawenda. Joshua Ledombasi Noka. Louis Reswellio. Luke Saunders. Nathaniel Thomas. Radu Ungarinu. Tyler Williams. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Networks and Security, Adil Abdul Karim. <laughs> Roxana Avirari. Matthew Bailey. Adeyemi Barek. Lewis Baxter. Amris Bizans. Nelson Bruno Jr. <laughs> Christian Kaliman. Zayn Chuktai. Mimadu Sisa. Rui Correa. Charles Derber. Jason Gregory. Kai Grundy. Abu Bakr Hussein. Manzi Hussein. Samira Ibrahim. Mohammed Jodin. Alan Keen. Hamayun Khan. Razwan Khan. Uzair Khan. Yevgeny Kunov. Hamza Mahmoud. Awais Matsud. Hassan Mustafa. Osama Oliwir. Ayamida Oluwabir. George Perkins. Justin Rowley. Patek Rudzinski. 
Jake Sangira. Namin Sanyang. Hamza Shafiq. Dominguez Tian. Ryan Smith. Rezka Sunimiyama. Stephen Tandy. Archie Webster. Matthew Wheeler. Jack Withy. Twalito Zuberu. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Science, Thomas Adams. Nazir Ahmed. Fahim Ahmed. Anad Ahmed. Nabil Ahmed. Zakaria Ahmed. Daiko Ahmed Sayed. Abdullah Al Ansari. Mohammed Nur Al Barini. Ahmed Albertus. Hamza Ali. Mohammed Haroon Ali. Shubed Ali. Najib Ibrahim. Alan Anom. Mohammed Arif. Lynn Barlett. Zuhair Bin Khalid. Isan Bokshu. Mikhail Bulia. Liam Bradshaw. Adam Butt. Ariana Shundaradra. Joshua Carr. Jacob Cross. Kai Douglas Francis. Andrew Fellows. Jarvin Grant. Dave Gubran. Abdul sorry. Abdullahi Hassan. Nazarat Hook. Harris Hussein. Sana Hussein. Jahay Hussein. Abda Ismail. Aaron Jackson. Matthew Jelfs. Mohammed Khan. Sana Khan. Shazad Khan. Kurdi Kunar. James Lisi. Philip Lees. Adil Mahmood. Junaid Manzoor. Brian Rubrimi. Ryan McGill. Ibn Shumab Muhammad Al Gear. Thomas O'Neill. Sami Alua. Aisha Patel. Muhammad Rahman. Angeline Ravindran. Shakar Salim. Balraj Semi. 
Percy Shea. Sunny Sooner. Scott Sutton. Bachelor of Science with Honours and Computer Science, Martin Chaveda. <laughs> Mohammed Tai. Gemma Taylor. Kuba <laughs> Fu. <laughs> Wang Wu. <laughs> Luke White. Callum Whitaker, Alexander Wiley, Farouk Yasuf, Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computing Studies, Salman Alakraka, Okalipo Juliana Ekosue. Faisal Jibakar. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Digital Media Technology, Akam Abdullah. <laughs> Safiyan Ahmed. <laughs> Terrell Belfort. <laughs> Sean Shatora. Dylan Chohan, Peter Evans, George Everett, Mel Grant, Berdonai Tesfai Kamal, Alia Khan, Wasim Khan. Linda Mary Laguna Vallon. Cameron Red Legister. Joseph Moxley. Eva Nakachwa. Nathan Parchment. Sean Brito. Asim Qureshi. Courtney Reynolds, Matthew Sayers, Dula Singh, Stefan Tishma, Esham Ul Hassan, Josh Witts. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Digital Technology Studies, Monroe Ellis. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Film Production Technology, Paris Bishop. <laughs> Scott Bridge. <laughs> Deborah Rodriguez. <laughs> Joshua Douglas. <laughs> Liam Driscoll. Amelia Fawkes. Mantas Grigonis. Charlotte Hutchinson. Ashley Logan. Tayyip Mahmood. James Malone. Christian Mason. Alexandra Morrissey. <laughs> Dylan Perrins. <laughs> Will Peters. <laughs> Quinn Phillips. <laughs> Oliver Rahill. <laughs> Chair Rana. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Film Technology and Visual Effects, Jamie Hilton. Yeah! James Lee. Charlotte Lees. Elliot 
Queen. Daniel Talbot. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Forensic Computing, Anika Ansar. Thomas Davis. Grace Fairhead. Joseph Gad. Alex Brother. Aaron Ralph. Jason Roberts. Paramir Singh. Scott Wakefield. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Information and Communications Technology. Sajid Ahmed. Mohammed El Jahed. James Carr. Ridwan Chowdhury. Samuel Armour Chowdhury. Daniel Green. Adebayo Dekunmo. Logan Folks. Eshan Hassan. Atif Hussain. Bezan Hussain. Umar Hussain. Majidul Islam. Sarundi Jandu. Fatu Kipe. Omar Luendu. Rial Falu. Sorry, Lufalu. <laughs> Rachel McTeagu. Asad Mami. Zara Mukal. Simon Perwelpi. Moin Kureshi. Mohammed Hasnain Ramzan. Sakil Sajid. Aaron Shabir. Nisashti. Daniel Sherwin. Bhagat Singh. Nahida Tamana. Amrit Tande. Abdul Wadud. Damien Watson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Music Technology, Joshua Bench. Jonathan Bickle. Jefferson Bledsoe. Haya Brooks. James Collins. Casey Cox. Adam Davison. Ignaz Kelpsas. Crystal Maylin. Rosanna Miller. Benjamin Morris. Brandon Robinson. Ewan Roycroft. Isaac Sudovich. Cameron Chan. Rebecca Spittle. Thomas Stanford. Harry Thorpe. Sungwook Wu. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sound Engineering and Production. Nathan Catley. Lauren Cave. 
William Chambers. Judy Chim. Mattia Colombo. Matty Costa. Christopher Fierro. Lewis Gifford. Daniel Hart. Courtney Hawkins. Evo Bristrop. Plutus Elikumi. Cameron Lowe. Katie McMarron. Benjamin Middleton. Ian Morrow. Jack Phillips. Adam Shaw. Rebecca Shaw. Nuru Sakantham. James Taylor. Nukolap Tonev. Jake Wicknell. Joshua Young. This completes the presentation of awards to graduates from the School of Computing and Digital Technology. This concludes the first presentation of graduates from the Faculty of Computing, Engineering and the Built Environment. I now invite the University Orator to introduce the recipient of the Award of Alumni of the Year 2019. Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, colleagues, graduates. Today we confer the title of Birmingham City University Alumnus of the Year on Tom Bell. Tom is a BCU graduate in quantity surveying, a qualification he achieved while working in the construction industry. He attained chartered status in 2010, and since then he has been part of an amazing story we see around us every day. Across the West Midlands, our built environment has undergone an extraordinary transformation. And this architectural renaissance has also been an industrial one. Much of Tom's work has been on projects that boost manufacturing at a time of severe need. He has helped shape the award-winning Jaguar Land Rover engine factory in Wolverhampton and the Manufacturing Technology Centre at Anstey Park in Coventry. He also gained international experience delivering aviation projects in the Far East. In 2015, Tom joined Quantum Consulting, a company specialising in the planning, control and management of construction projects with a new office in Birmingham. He quickly progressed to partner during a period of rapid development for the firm and for himself personally. Tom's national stock is rising too, active in his professional body, the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. He became an assessor for the APC qualification and now sits on the RICS West Midlands Regional Board. When he was awarded the fellowship of RICS, he was the youngest of that standing in our region. He is clearly on the path to still greater success and stands as an immense credit to himself to his family and to the university where he studied. So ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure now to invite the Pro-Chancellor to present the Alumni of the Year commemorative pill, pin to Tom Bell. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we are this morning delighted to be conferring the award of Doctor of the University upon Cal Henderson, and I now call upon the University Orator to give the citation. Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, colleagues, graduates. Today we confer the degree of Honorary Doctor of Birmingham City University honoris causa on Cal Henderson. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a day for celebrating, but it's also a day for dreaming about futures. So try this dream. As a student here, you've graduated, you've spent time working outside the university to develop your skills and prospects. Quickly, you become technical director of a company specializing in web projects. That leads to a bigger job at a fast emerging company. Imagine you develop new applications that will have global reach. And then, in your dreams, things get really big. You join an established company as head of engineering before the real light bulb moment. You co-found your own company. You become its chief technical officer. You develop a product so brilliant that the monoliths of your industry start to get worried. You settle with your beautiful family in San Francisco. You even walk to work. And on the way in the lovely West Coast weather, you have time to think about how your company has grown in five years from almost nowhere to $7 billion. Is it all just a dream? Well, no. It's the story of our guest of honor today, Cal Henderson. 17 years ago, this boy from Bedfordshire graduated from this university with a BSc in software engineering. He was one of the last engineering graduates to graduate from the leafy campus at Perry Bar. In those days, Millennium Point was practically a building site. During his studies, Cal picked up experience as a programmer with Link Information Systems and the evolving media company before becoming technical director of EMAP. In his spare time, he ran a fan website for an application called Game Never Ending, produced by Ludicorp, and set out to get the attention of the Ludicorp CEO, Stuart Butterfield. Now, most of us would send a polite email or press the PA for a meeting or hang around for the, for the front door for a bit, but not Cal. He hacked into Ludicorp's internal mailing list. <laughs> Butterfield admired his skill and persistence and immediately hired him as director of web development. How life might have turned out differently if Butterfield had called the police instead. <laughs> <laughs> A period of phenomenal innovation followed. Cal developed the global image sharing application Flickr. He became director of engineering for Yahoo, wrote a best-selling book on how to build scalable websites, and then co-founded Slack Technologies. Slack is now known across the world for its team communication platform, facilitating business and education in many different countries and time zones. Only now is the somewhat rattled giant Microsoft starting to catch up with its own Teams platform. So what did it take to get there, apart from a degree from this university? Well, here's how one colleague has described Cal Henderson. He's an amazing engineer who's able to deduce and solve the most complex back-end problems competently and permanently in a fraction of the time and cost of most other engineers. On top of that, he's a great manager who can keep development focused on the product in hand. Another colleague describes him as one of a very small set of engineers who can work with skill and precision at a variety of tasks. He's knowledgeable at the front end, back end, and data layer of web development, and he was a big, big reason that Flickr has worked and developed as well as it has. At times, it seems he's a one-man army, a force of nature who gathers two to three of the best engineers around him, then gets it done and done well. Well, that tells you a lot about Cal Henderson, the brilliant software engineer, but look further afield, and you also find he's an extraordinarily sane and balanced human being, whose working day is built around conversations with his colleagues, and most of all, with his young family. A few years ago, it was our privilege to welcome him back as one of our alumni of the year. So much greater today is the privilege of welcoming him to our list of honorary doctors. 
We could not wish for a better role model for our students graduating today, for someone who has shown what incredible futures lie ahead for those prepared to master their craft, to keep innovating, to take risks, and to stay human. So Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, colleagues, graduands, it gives me great pleasure to invite the Vice-Chancellor to confer the degree of Honorary Doctor of Birmingham City University honoris causa on Cal Henderson. Well done, man. Well done. As Vice-Chancellor, I exercise the authority of the University's Academic Board and I am delighted to confer the award of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa on Cal Henderson, and I invite you, Pro-Chancellor, to present the commemorative medal. That completes the conferment of the award of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa, and I'm delighted now to invite Cal to address the congregation. Cal. <clears throat> Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. I will try and keep this brief, as I know that listening to me is not the reason you're here today, and it's getting a little bit warm. It's a great honor for me to be back in Symphony Hall uh, achieving and receiving this award today, the same place that I was awarded my bachelor's degree many years ago. I started at BCU almost 20 years ago today. Um, over that time, the university has changed really significantly. It had a different name. I attended the University of Central England, and you've attended BCU. It had a different campus. I worked out of the Feeney building in Perry Bar, and you have the uh, beautiful East Side Millennium Point. And I was part of a different faculty as well. Back then it was CIE, or Computing Information in English, which uh, if you think CB is a weird mix, uh, being in with English is even more weird. So the university is a real uh, ship of Theseus. Every part has been replaced over the last couple of decades, but it's still the same institution that, that I graduated from. I work in technology, so an industry that has also changed very significantly over that same period. Back when I joined BCU, Google had just been incorporated as a company and was very far from being a household name or, or the verb it is today. And we were still almost a decade from the invention and the rise of the smartphone, something that's changed our relationship with technology very significantly and changed the way we think about technology in our lives. At the beginning of my career, I worked for a little while in London, landing a job through people I met on the internet, which back then was a pretty weird thing to do. But my career really took off when in 2003, I took a big leap to work on Flickr, the world's first major photo sharing app, and which took me to Canada and ultimately to San Francisco, where I've lived for the last 14 years. And then in 2009, I started the company that became Slack, which is now a publicly traded company employing almost 2,000 people globally, um, and used every day by more than 10 million people to get their work done. There's no other industry that provides a greater opportunity to have an impact on a global scale, changing the lives of billions of people, than technology. It's growing, and it looks like it's going to remain a very important industry and very influential for the coming decades. It's accessible, but it's far from a meritocracy. My graduating class had a single woman although I'm happy to see that's changed pretty significantly, there's still a long way to go. And there's still significant work to be done to help create an opportunity for underrepresented peoples in tech and make sure that everyone has those same chances to impact our future. But it's not just technology that affords that opportunity. Growing up, I didn't see entrepreneurship as a path that was available to me. I figured I'd go to school, get a job, and be a software engineer, something that I'd known I'd wanted to do for a long time. But starting a company was not something people just did. I fell into that quite by luck. When that opportunity happened to uh, arise for me, I seized it. If I hadn't taken that leap, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today. So I've created some successful companies, and so sometimes I get asked for advice from aspiring entrepreneurs or engineers. And unfortunately, my best piece of advice is be really lucky. 
<laughs> sure, I've, I've worked hard and I've applied myself and honed my craft, looked for opportunities to learn and improve. But I can't deny that really I've been incredibly lucky. It's very easy to be fooled by survivorship bias. You don't hear from people who have taken similar decisions, taken a similar path and chances to me where it didn't work out. But there are plenty of lessons to be learned from those failures. I was very lucky to move to the San Francisco Bay Area where there's one really big important difference compared to the UK. And it's not access to capital or access to talent, though those things definitely help when starting a company. But it really is an attitude towards accepting failure and be willing to learn from it. When somebody starts a company and it doesn't work out, as I've done it myself a few times, those around you don't say, well, that was stupid, now go get a real job. Instead, they say, what did you learn? And what are you going to do next with those learnings? And that willingness to learn from failure and grow, that's the most important part. Nobody gets everything right on their first try. You're going to leave here today and you're going to go out into the world and build your careers and do things you've never dreamed of. You're going to make great choices and achieve great successes. But you'll also make mistakes, take wrong turns and have bad days. And you have to remember that that is part of the process too. Nobody gets everything right on the first time. So it's a great award for me to be accepting today. And I hope to see some of you back on this stage 20 years from now talking about what you've accomplished and what you've learned along the way. Thank you very much. I now invite Professor Hanifa Shah to continue the presentation of award holders from the faculty. I now invite Emma Love to the lectern to present award holders from the School of Engineering and the Built Environment. Master of Science in Building Spain, Syed Shah. <laughs> Master of Science in Construction Project Management, Tanya Tanya. <laughs> Toyfek Abu Kali Lid. <laughs> Victor Ees. <laughs> Daoud Daoud. Nick Noor Farah Binti Nick Zamri. <laughs> Parkinson Onolimu Min. <laughs> Ak Pini Salah Ha. <laughs> Ak Porva Se Kayad Ka. Master of Science in Construction Project Management, Mohamed Zakia Mohamed Zubar. The following course is presented in partnership with the International College of Business and Technology, Dubai. Master of Engineering in Electronic Engineering, Microelectronics, Daniel Kaith. Wahid Rahman. Alexander Taylor <laughs> Azizu Yousefi <laughs> Master of Science in International Logistics and Supply Chain Management Mashim Ross <laughs> The following course is presented in partnership with Next Sri Lanka <laughs> Master of Science in Logistics and Supply Chain Management Ok Wusail Master of Science in Logistics and Supply Chain Management, Thi Li Ne Dasa Na Yaki. Si Ha Ra Ga Mage. Pradham Heti Archi Chi. Hasinthi Samawali. Master of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Collins Chibuli Otti. <laughs> Master
Minister of Science and Project Management, Shah Ray Yar, Lord Here Yar. <laughs> Master of Science in Quantity Surveying, Liam Brady. <laughs> Amy Coulson. <laughs> Thomas Finnegan. <laughs> Angelique Goten. Nitando Yikosi Kumalo. Maria O'Sullivan. Sarjot Pabla. The following course is presented in partnership with Next Sri Lanka. Master of Science in Quantity Surveying, Amamad Infas. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Architectural Technology, Noman Amandi. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Architectural Technology, Was Wasim Akram. <laughs> Sarah Ali. <laughs> Sophie Arrowsmith. <laughs> Arshan Arshad. I would love for every single person who comes across this stage to know how brilliantly they have done. Thank you. Engineering, Haroon Ali. Matthew Beresford. Simon Crozier. Marwin El Noo Sunny. Chayan Seagull. William Howe. Kazim Hussain Harry James Mohamed Limbada Connor Morgan Mitesh Nagar Benjamin Oliver Adam Shale Heidua Sultan Peter Williams <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Building Surveying Hamza Amin Jordan Bernard Shanti Clark. Sean Davis. Christian Herbert. Amir Islam. Rajan Ku. Lisa Sirachi. 
Chum and Francois. Adam Lecou. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Built Environment Studies, Yashir Ashraf. with honours in civil engineering, Sulman Ahmed. Omar Al Af Am Nar. Emmanuel Bibi. Emily Carmichael. Jacob Druitt. Jamal Gould. Management, Mohammed Bahakan. <laughs> Ranjit Boga. <laughs> Tian Birchall. <laughs> Adam Campbell. <laughs> Laura Dando. <laughs> Paige Cooper. Heidi Juggins Ault, Thomas Minchin, Hassim Mohammed, Sufyan Mula, Sean Parker, Sophia Rayford. Ashan Shah, Theodora Subusha, Hussein Zaman, Shahid Zaman, with the International College of Business and Technology, Baran and Kutar. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Construction Management, Mohammed Anusa Rahman. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Electronic Engineering, Microelectronics, Trisha Abdullah. <laughs> Zabar Haroun. Jones. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Electronic Engineering Telecommunications, Ryan Allen. <laughs> Mohammed Arman. <laughs> Neha Agavilas. <laughs> Farquia Gomina. Morrison. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical Engineering, Gareth Bailey. <laughs> Emma Davis. <laughs> William Butler. <laughs> Stephen Cable. <laughs> Aaron Davis. William Dent, <laughs> Evangelisan Dos Santos, <laughs> Matthew Fleming, <laughs> Max Gadsby, <laughs> Valentin.
Ula Vilas. Mohammed Hassan. Jason here. Jake Hurst. Sahil Twandango. Christina Joe Ginger, <laughs> Jeffrey Jolly, Aaron King, Randir Kapka, Badin Kofi Chekhov, Manish Mishra Ayaz Mohammed Nidarshan Nagaraja Olam Ray Wuju Nasiru Daniel Oldman Onions. Elliot Rankin. Sri Rani Rengar Nathan. Philip Robinson. Hani Tari. Keith Thomas. Joshua Wright Matt Zelazishid <laughs> Yeah, Matt Zelazishid Thank you <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Motorsports Technology, Sophie Vernon Science with honours in quantity surveying, Akib Aftab. <laughs> Harris Alley. Hossin Alley. Link Heng Ang. Harry Baker. Jack Barwick. Osama Bashir, Joseph Fisher, Laura Banker, Ashley Bracken, Joseph Brown, Adam Puddle. Cox, Jordan Davis, Charlotte Dixon, Sean Donovan, Charlie Durham, Daniel Lewis. Nathan Ayer, Imran Farah Mahad, Ethan Fernio, James Gibson, Daniel Gordon, Thomas Haygood. 
Rajwan Hussain. Yusuf Hussain. Zaheer Ilyas. Hassan Iman. Catherine Jenkins. Jennings. Denzel Kawazar. Robert Louis. Terence Maloney. i 
Ireland. <laughs> Joshua Woolley. <laughs> Higher National Certificate in Construction, James Erdley. <laughs> Emily Farr. <laughs> Ryan Jordan. Matthew Moore Lauren Lern James Wilkins Sipan Zakoli Master of Science in Cybersecurity Constantine Modest Kazabiga Matuaka Baba of Science with Honours in Sound Engineering and Production, James Nicholas Cohen. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Electronic Engineering and Microelectronics, Mohamed Nasseri. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education in Automotive Engineering, Mohamed Naji. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical Engineering, Joe Breton. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Quantity Surveying, Andrew Chugu Du. Sorry, try that again. Chugu Gu Dizucha. <laughs> Master of Arts Planning, Master of Arts Planning Built Environment, Payal Shibanojo Top Lab. from the School of Engineering and the Built Environment and the University's Collaborative Partner Institutions. This completes the presentation of graduates from the Faculty of Computing, Engineering and the Built Environment. I now invite Logan Folks, who has graduated with a Bachelor of Science with Honours in Information and Communication Technology this morning to address the congregation. Good morning and welcome to friends, family and fellow graduates of 2019. It's a great honour to be asked to speak to you today, a special day for me and my family, just as I'm sure it is for so many of you here today at the culmination of our studies and what some would say is the beginning of our career. Though this latter point is something I cannot agree with. The beginning of my career was the first day I started here at Birmingham City University on a course designed purely to make me the best and most employable that I can be. Since the day I arrived at the university, I have, as we all have, taken every opportunity that's come my way or been offered. For me personally, this started with taking every employment opportunity. From staffing open days, becoming a technical demonstrator helping out in labs, becoming a student academic leader, or taking an industrial placement to ratify that the content I have learnt could be applied to and used in a real workplace. I know that when I leave here to start my graduate employment, I will not only have the skills required to do the best job I can, but the support networks in place from some excellent academic staff and mentors. This is the time I would like to thank Rehan Barna, my course leader, my final year project supervisor, and one of the most hard-working individuals I have come across. I would like to thank Chris Maguire for being that first person to offer me the demonstrator role. This faith in me really helped build my confidence as a career woman. Finally, Shahid Parvez, someone else who has shown significant faith and has pushed me across my entire time here at university. Although I've only named a select few, this list would be exhaustive if I were to name every single person who has helped me, guided me, or made me who I am today. Everyone here has had their own journey through this university, and it has been an honour to share mine with you today. It's always fantastic to hear the great things that BCU students and alumni have been doing and achieving. 
I hope everyone here keeps in touch and shares their future successes with us all here today. As we set out on the next stage of our lives, we are still individuals with our own distinct ambitions. But we are also united as the class of 2019, a permanent part of our university's history. So thank you from me and congratulations to you all. It takes great guts to stand up and speak on behalf of your peers, so I think give it up. One more round of applause for Logan, please. Now, I've, I know far better than to stand between you now and that uh, first important glass of cold drink. So I'm not going to. Uh, just simply, if I may, add my personal congratulations to all the graduates today and to all the award recipients. This is very much your day. I hope you'll enjoy it and celebrate it amongst family and friends. So I now declare the congregation closed. And we'd be very grateful, please, if you would just stand and allow the stage processions to leave the hall before you leave. Thank you very much indeed.